Hello, I'm data science teacher Brandon, and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to discuss sweet is and there's not a lot that you can do with it, but it does a lot kind of all in one. And it's pretty handy if you want to just get a quick little data analysis on your uh, on all of your data frame. Okay. So Colab doesn't have this installed, so I just have to go pip install sweetviz and then sweetviz as SV. And the way that we're going to use this, I'm just going to import the penguins data set right here. So some numeric and some uh, categorical data. Okay, so S SV analyze DF. If you're in uh, a Jupyter notebook, this might work for you automatically, where it might just pop up another window and display this. Uh, because we're in, I, well, I'm not, I, I have to actually go show HTML. And what's going to happen is it's going to print out a report right here and I can download this. Okay, so I've downloaded that. And what I've done is go to this other one. And you can see the sweet Viz report right here. Okay, this is the Titanic. Yeah, so this is the Titanic one right here. And it's kind of nice. It's very cool. You can see what the smallest values are numerical associations, categorical associations. What was really, I think, the most interesting, the most unique about this, and so we get some really interesting uh, just distributions and really quick, easy to understand. So it was a good idea. This is a good kind of initial glance at your data before you get deeper into a data analysis. This, I think, is actually the most interesting thing about this is this associations right here. And so it's not just a correlation matrix that is pretty easy to do and we've we've seen hopefully you've seen that by now uh but this is relating the class the sorry the categories to numeric columns so here we see sex is related to fair so this is if we look at the circles are numerical correlations and the doesn't say but the squares there we go squares are categorical associations okay so when you have sex with fair this is a categorical p class is categorical survived categorical and you're getting the sense you see there there's not an, a lot of age and sex a low correlation there slightly low positive correlation but these have p class and fair as a i think that makes sense if you know the titanic data set has a very strong correlation right here and then going into the other one that we looked at was the delinquent loans. So a lot more, all numeric ones. Well, there's one, I guess, numeric one, but all categorical data in this one. Okay, so just SV analyze, give it the data frame, show HTML uh, in this data set. Okay, and this is a delinquent loan data set. So this was the delinquent loans. And you're starting to get a sense of looking at the uh, associations a lot less associations here right so you can see a lot less strong uh gender and term doesn't really seem to have to do anything is delinquent doesn't really seem to be related to it. they're all basically non-existent very 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 low correlations with who is delinquent only the term and that's interesting because now here's my categorical data set and a categorical term so now i, I instantly know that if i was doing machine learning that this this is going to be an important category in this, although it's <laughs> just more important than the rest, not the most important. Uh, likely a blend of these, a composition of categories could be good. Um, but anyways, so this is kind of just really showing you some interesting different ways to work with it. This one's like, uh, the work, a lot more going on in this data set. Um, but it's interesting in the in all data sets, truthfully, getting a correlation analysis, a pairwise analysis, quick and easy. Okay. And this is something that you could pass this file around to anybody and have it nice and done. And it would be interactive for them because they would open it in there. Uh, it would be an HTML file, so it would open in their browser. And so they can go through, see, you know, smallest value, largest value, categorical associations, numerical associations. It's just a, it's a good, it's a good little uh, tool for a quick, easy, especially an initial analysis. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time.